Now to the fight against eminent domain. Multiple homes are set to be leveled to make way for a new expressway in Stanislaus County. Phase one of the project would level at least three homes from Oakdale Road to Klaus Road. CBS 13's Manson Keevy with the homeowners now fighting to save their properties. Take a drive down Oakdale Road and tucked among the orchards are homes. But in 1979, they, they bought 23 acres on Old Oakdale uh, near Clarabelle. They uh, designed a home and they built it and moved into it in 1980. I sat down with attorney Gerald Brunn, who represents Vicki and Wolfgang Bach, one of the families who will be forced out of their home due to eminent domain. Ironically, Mr. Bach is celebrating his 85th birthday today, the day after the county of Stanislaus decided to take his and his wife's home. Dr. Vicki Bach, a local pediatrician, her husband Wolfgang, a researcher and author, pictured here in the home that will have to be leveled. There's not going to be 100% winners in this thing, unfortunately. Stanislaus County supervisors voted unanimously Tuesday to start the process to obtain eminent domain to get property for the North County Corridor Expressway project. In total, it's an 18 mile realignment of State Route 108 around Modesto, Riverbank, and Oakdale communities. The project started more than a decade ago public meetings, proposals of where to build and the environmental impacts all led to this. The impacts to families like the box not lost on supervisors. We're threading the needle through a semi-urban place and it's there there are going to be impacts, but these are the least impacts that the project team could find. The box attorney spoke to the board about his concerns so Tuesday see, and said he feels they understand the serious under nature of this call, this but. In, in their 80s and poor health and having to uh, look for a new home essentially. And that's what the county has done to them. So what happens next here? Well, representatives from the county have reached out. The box attorney says they do not want to go to court, but if they have to, they will.